What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Fox Chamber. And of course, this is going to be a new segment on the show that I'm trying to do. I don't know how um, popular it's going to be, but I guess if I keep getting uh, emails with different cards and stuff like that, I guess I'll keep it going. But so far, I've got five or six right now that we're going to go through. Just remember, send your emails to this address and we'll get your card showcased. But uh, basically, this part is gonna be called uh, Fox Chambers Fan Rides, basically. So the first card we got is from Derek Tate, and it's, a, um, it's an LX hatchback. It looks nice, this car looks nice. You know, it looks like that bad boy set up to run, too. And it's got some, some, some big meats on the back. You know, yeah, a little, uh, it's a, we got a sunroof there. Put on my other eyeballs so I can see a little better. But yeah, it's like a sunroof. I always did like sunroofs. You know, they, uh, especially on those nice days when you're out cruising, got that sunroof pulled back, that air flowing through there. Cause I ride with my windows down all the time anyway. Got some nice uh, bullet hole wheels and those, look like he got kind of a, a drag pack going on there. Yeah, let's see what year, uh, 98 LX hatch. And like I was saying, it looks definitely nice. Like it's set up to run, son. I'll pull up beside him. <laughs> I don't think I'd try him. Throw my hand up, say, yes, sir. That's a nice one. So who we got next here? All right. Our next car is from Marco B. We didn't, uh, we didn't chit chat a couple times across the channel. And it's a 92 GT. He said it's uh, 2,600 miles original. Bought it bone stock last year. Wow. Look at that engine. That bevel got a nice little setup right there, son. Was that a Vortec, I think it is? Yeah, Vortec, got the trick flow intake on it. Trick flow heads and all. But yeah, that puppy is nice right there. Nice setup up under the hood. All right, next picture, another side view. Oh, he's killing it. Marco is killing it with this one right here. Oh, I love that. Love the SVE wheels. Cause I thought about getting something like that for mine, the uh, for the GT, those SVEs. It really it did cross my mind, but love the fitment. That color is just off the charts. I think it looks like a looks like a wild strawberry or a cherry, something like that. Oh wow, that's nice. That is very nice. Let's see next picture. I think this is the the picture of it being um, as when he bought first bought it. I think. And then turned it into a Cobra clone. Good job, Marco. Good freaking job, dude. Now you can see where he started with. He got a got a good base. Very good base. See, it was he definitely from, from where it's sitting right here. Needs some lowering shocks and all that. But as we seen in the in the previous picture, oh yeah, he hooked that thing up. That is an awesome job, dude. All right, next picture, another side view. That bad boy is clean. He could have rocked that thing original. And next picture, yeah, I could tell. That's where he started with right there. That's the base. Still got the old school cheese graters in the back. Look at that, that's what it transformed into right there. Look at that fitment. That fitment is, is nice. That is tucked in there. That's tighter than mine, and mine's pretty tight. Love that hood. I think that's what, inch and a half, two inches? That's the kind of hood I need right there. And I'll probably go with something like that on the notch. Sweet Cobra clone is the interior. Oh, that is nice. Looks like, yeah, that's Cobra seats in that bad boy, too. Oh, yeah. Looks like they get the steering wheel from, um, that's that LMR steering wheel, I think, possibly. Interior is immaculate. There's a shot of the back. Look at that. Yo, y'all gotta dig that. Y'all gotta give that man a thumbs up on this one. Got to give him a thumbs up on this one. Let's see who we got next. All right. We got next is Dustin. It says here, this is a, this is another 89. GT50 had the completed uh, exterior restoration last year. Oh yeah, it's a nice setup right here. Nice setup. Has the old uh, Cobra wheels on it, and look at the the front. That's the um, I cannot recall the name of that front end right off off the top of my head, but it's it's uh, Cervini. Is that Cervini? A Cervini front end. But uh, yeah, that looks good on there. Got the two inch cow hood, hood pins. Did you put those hood pins in yourself? Cause I thought about doing hood pins, but um, I am afraid that I will mess up my hood doing that. 
and I'll put them in the wrong spot. Hey, let me know how easy those things are to put in. I, I thought about doing that myself. But yeah, that's a good setup. Love the black. I mean, every I've, I've bought black trucks and, and I say I wouldn't buy another one, but I, of course y'all know that I bought me another one. But yeah, that black, I know it's hard to keep clean, but man, as you can see right here, when this thing is clean, it is beautiful. Yeah, I am definitely digging that front end too on that thing. I, I don't want to say a Cervini. I want to say a Cervini. I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments down below. But yeah, I think LMR sells that also. Yeah, I'm digging that. 89 GT. All right. Let's see who we got here next. Uh-oh. Look who, look who we got next here. Everybody that's watching my channel <laughs> knows who this is. This is gearhead 704 yes everybody knows who this is gearhead 704 so we got a shot right here looks like he's sitting in a parking lot i think he calls it um duke blue <laughs> I'm, I'm playing with you i'm playing with you matt i know it's carolina blue this is the tar heel fox tar heel fox his information is on the screen right now but um yes dig this car i saw this at uh foxtoberfest last year it was nice. He had a nice boot set up, everything. Let's see, next picture. A little bit of side view right here. Yeah, Cobra wheels. And this is a uh, Cobra clone, y'all, because of course y'all know the Cobras didn't come in convertible. But with his setup right here, you couldn't tell any difference. This looks like a straight up original Cobra, the way this thing is set up. He's done a lot of work on this bad boy, and I think he's got an engine uh, being built that he's gonna put in this thing. Uh, I can't remember what he what he was gonna do. I think he's gonna put the engine that he built in his notch and put the other engine in this one. But that's neither here nor there. But look at this setup, y'all. This setup is nice. Yeah, I know one thing. Y'all have not seen another Carolina Blue Mustang like this. This is this is nice. This is nice, Matt. And I definitely enjoyed looking at this thing up close and personal. Love that car. Loved it. All right, here's another picture of it. He had a little, um, it was a little car show that he had outside of Lou Creative's house. Yeah, that's a nice shot right there. I wish you would I wish I had pictures of the interior. That interior, y'all, that interior is off the chain. It is, it's, it's white, got white seats, white interior, and it, and it makes that car pop on the inside. It makes it pop. I'm telling you, that is a nice ride. I know we've seen it on the channel, but looking at it on YouTube does not do it any justice. It does not do it any justice. Yeah, love the ride, Matt. All right, we've got two more. And this from Insane6925. I don't have a name, but I have an IG account, which I'm gonna put down on the screen. All right, what we got going on here? We got a white 88 notch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, the first notch to be shown. All right, the first picture, little side profile. Oh, I'm digging that. That is clean. That's clean. That's a nice look. Love that look. Got the got the ponies on there. Yeah, I'm digging that. I'm digging that. Everybody got cow hoods but me. Am I the only one without a cow hood? <laughs> yeah, I got a white notch, and y'all seen it. And I said I was gonna paint it Calypso, but if I leave it white, man, it's gonna, it's gonna look nice. Just looking at this one right here. I can tell it's gonna look very good. Next picture, taking pictures of the opposite side. Love those blue lights. You don't get in trouble with those blue lights? The cops don't pull you over, nothing like that? But that's nice. I love that stance. That is nice, clean look. Those, look, those wheels look even wider than factory too on the back. That might be the size of the tire that's making it look like that, but that's, that's a good look. Nice setup, love the hood, love the hood. I've gotta get me one of those. All right, next picture, the interior. That interior looks clean, bro. That interior looks very clean. And uh, what is it, what is it, what is it? Uh, Porno Red, I think it's called? Yes, and it's set up. It's set up to run, and you know why I know that? Because of this next picture. Bam, look at there, Vortec, baby. Vortec, huh? Pull up on him, try him. Sit that shit on, uh, get embarrassed. Yeah, a little Vortex set up. That engine bay looks good. That engine bay looks very good. That is a nice little setup up under there. And the Vortex set up. Man, I wonder if I should, I should go Vortex on my GT. Hmm, I don't know. I kinda, I kinda just want that, that car to be a, a cruiser, basically. 
I just want to kind of want to just ride around, enjoy the 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 breeze blowing through all this lustrous hair. All right, and for the final picture, it's a side profile. Yeah, that's some five percent tint right there. That's what I got on mine, five percent. Yeah, that is a good look right there, brother. Insane sixty nine twenty five. Nice ride, bro. Love that notch. Love that notch. Final one we're gonna do today is from a, a hometown friend of mine, Wendell Pendleton. He sent me, a, um, I think, eight pictures. Oh, crap, but only got four of them to come through. But the first picture, look at that side profile. Yeah, and that's a, um, and I think that's a strawberry. I think that's wild strawberry. I think that's what that color is. And, that was, and, and, and that's definitely on my radar. It's definitely on the radar for um, a color. Cause that color right there, when it's um, when it's clean, it looks good. It's like black. When that is clean, that strawberry, that wild strawberry, when it's clean, it looks good. Love his wheel setup. Those wheels look good on there. And I saw this car. We went to a uh, a car show that was in Mariana, and the car show got canceled because of I think it was Hurricane Michael came through, and kind of ruined everybody's day. But me, uh, my homie Dave, we hung out and. And eventually, all these cars started coming in. So we kind of had a little mini car show of our own. So they weren't completely ruined. I got to meet Wendell and his son. So it was a good day. It was a good day, hands down. But yeah, love that wheel set up on there. Let's see what other picture we got here. Oh yeah, that, that, that rear angle. Oh yeah, I love that. Yeah, man, that's, that notch looks nice. Now the pipes coming out the back. Oh yeah. Sweet setup. And that lip, look at that lip on that rear wheel. That is fat, son. That is a fat lip on there. Oh, that looks good. That offset looks good. That offset looks real good. That bad was clean, too. That is a very good look. Yeah, he don't need to do nothing else to that. Nothing. That looks nice. All right, next picture. There he is. <laughs> There's Wendell. Check him out. Profiling. That's how you're supposed to ride them things, son. Let that arm hang out the window and ride. Yes, love that, brother. Love that. Them disc wheels in the back too. I want to. I want to get that set up. Yes, cause I want the. I want the disc in the back. I know it just looks good. I mean, it, it might not help stopping power, but disc brakes in the back look good. They just do. They just do. But look at that. That's a profile right there. That's a good look. Killing it, window. You're killing it, bro. And I will get with you later on, cause you let you hometown homie. I will get with you later. All right, look at that profile. I'm digging that. All right, the next one we got, and I almost forgot about it. I mean, he almost slipped between the cracks. But um, this is from Alan. He has actually two cars. He's uh, one of them is a uh, a project drag car, and I'll put the picture up right here. And it's a um, '89 GT with a 306 stock block, 20 millimeter turbo, C4 Trans, Holley EFI. And you can see right there, it's gonna be something to deal with down the track. A little drag pack going on right there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a beast. Yeah, Alan, you gotta send me some more pictures of that when you get that one done, buddy. Yeah, we gotta see that one right there in the finishing stages. All right, his other one that he's got here is a 93 Reef uh, what was it Reef Blue uh, LX uh, 331R block uh, 76 millimeter turbo TKO 600 trans 610 rear wheel horsepower Wow that is nice and Celine body kit okay yeah I see what you're working with right there that is nice yeah I love that offset that offset look right there that big big lip on that rear wheel that thing is tucked up in there real nice nice little stance on that one all right next picture all right it's at the car wash here yeah that's a nice front end on that I opened up right open right there in the front no snow no pony or nothing right there yeah I'm digging that yeah that's a good look that uh, LX front end on there uh no, it's not LX front end but uh Celine front end that Celine kit on that thing looks real good two inch cow hood on that bad boy I think it's a two inch cow hood that looks real nice out next picture Ah, rear view. Oh, nice. That is a nice right there. You can get a better look at how that thing is set up, looking down the sides, how those wheels are kind of tucked in there. That looks real good. Yeah, turbo written turbo in the back, and uh, looks like a Steeda emblem. 
right there over the right side. Ah, that's neat looking. All right, next picture. Yeah, that looks good, wet. Man, that paint looks nice. That look like it's been recently painted or well taken care of, one. That paint looks real good, looks immaculate. Yeah, that is about a two inch cow hood, I could tell right there. It looks real good, nice, nice stance on that. Even that front wheel got a nice little lip on it. Yeah, I'm definitely digging that. Yeah, you can't beat that wet look, it still looks good. And that reed blue is popping, it's popping. All right, I think that's it. All right, y'all, that's it. Episode number one on fans rides. So uh, here's the address again, but um, I didn't get any. I don't. I don't have a big inflow of of readers' rides or, or, or viewers' rides. So if y'all would please send me some more. I love doing this. This is awesome. I want to put everybody's information out there that wants their rides shown. You know, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. Everybody's um, YouTube channel. I will. I'll have it on the screen whenever I'm showing you cars and stuff like that so everybody can come check you out. If you like that, of course, hit me up again. Here's the information again to send it to. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this on up. If you like that, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell so you can get that fresh stuff when it comes out and we'll see you later.